put that thing away till tomorrow morning and come back and unwrap it like Christmas. I'm Chris Meyer. Join me and the Legendary Customs team as we take ordinary rides and craft them into Legendary Customs. Okay, so I've been in the booth and cleaning out the vents, vacuuming off the walls. The walls tend to get quite a bit of overspray, so um, vacuum the carpet up. It's not carpet, it's, I think it's called pig mat. Anyways, I've been cleaning the booth. As we've been saying, the 52 Ford is coming into the paint booth. Now, we want it as bright in there as possible. We have a brand new painter in the house. Check this out. She's doing an awesome job. Hi. What are you doing? Making a lot of noise. You like doing it? Are you a painter now? No. No? No. You're not going to start painting the cars? Um, look at the walls. No. But, but right <laughs> they're answer. brighter, but they're not I, I, I'm, good. I'm, I'm glad that's your answer because, yes. yeah, it's a definite no on my side, too. Yeah. But it looks awesome. All right. Keep watching. We might have a car in front of this camera before long. All right. Today is the day. It is Tuesday. March 5th. We started this project in October of 2023 and every single person involved in this project, Chris, Jody, Zach, Jeff, Nate, Kathy, myself, Matt from Rags, everybody that has been involved in this project has waited for this day. It is in the paint booth. Now, you've seen us clean up the paint booth painted the walls white. Something we did, we put in all LED lights. So it's much brighter in here. It's gonna make Zach's job a lot easier to paint. And we're ready to rock and roll. So we're gonna do the inside first, then the exterior. So all day today would be painting and prepping the interior. And tomorrow and the next day will be exterior. And yes, it will take two to three full days just to put color on this bad boy. As you saw, the 52 panel truck came into the paint booth today and everything is taped off, ready to do the interior. Now, I can't stress this enough. You have to protect everything that's underneath. You don't want that full of overspray. So Zach has done an awesome job of taping everything off so no overspray gets underneath. 
people say, why does it take so long to get this done? If you look at this, the entire truck has been covered to protect it. Every little hole has been taped off so overspray doesn't go out there and end up on that beautiful motor and that beautiful frame. So, that's what's happening next. Interior only. That will be done today, we are hoping. And then, tomorrow will be the outside. Today was a big day. Come on into the booth, check it out. Look at those filters. Oh, brand new filters. Booth is painted, brand new LED lights. Oh my gosh, there's more light in here than we've ever had. Anyway, come on in. So, as you can see, everything that was taped off before now is open to paint. And everything that we painted already is blocked off to paint. So. This is ready to go. The engine, the frame, everything is protected that's been done. The interior paint can't get into there. Big thing, this plastic is specific for paint. If you put this on the wrong way, the paint flakes up. This is a 3M product. Can't the, see it. The it says paint, paint this side up. Yep, the paint will literally come off, get in the air, land on your paint, and you'll be Pissed. Don't do it. Ask me how we know that. Put it on the wrong way one time. Anyway, everything is ready to go. I just sent off to Chris and Jody the black cutoff in the rear, how we're going to do it. There's three different options. They're going to pick one. Otherwise, we're ready. Tomorrow, color is going on. Zach has the sealer put on. Let's go take a look. And this sealer doesn't look like sealer. It almost looks like base coat. And you can see how everything is sealed in. All those different colors from the bodywork are all sealed as one constant continuous color. Control your dust. That's very important. But that is an awesome looking color. The bottom will be two-toned. Running boards would be black. Front fenders will be black. But that is a sealer. Lays really smooth. Gives you a consistent color to put your other color over the top. And in this case, like I said before, they surprised me. And the sealer is an awesome color match to the top coat. So the top coat will get better coverage. Instead of three or four coats, it'll probably be two or three coats. But again, like I said, Zach will find out by using his card. And there you go.
Prozac has painted the black, as you can see. Now he will tape off that area, cover it, and then paint the blue. This is the first step of a two-tone vehicle. You have watched us since October come all this way to get to today. And we appreciate you viewing this. Man, Chris, Jody, I want you not to see this so when you see it in person, you're surprised. So if you wanna be surprised in person, hit the little stop button on this video, stop watching. Everybody else, check this thing out. Truly legendary. Zach just finished, so it is still wet. I'm gonna come in tomorrow and unwrap it. We're not gonna to go too terribly far into the booth, but the body lines pop, the black and the blue contrast are strong enough that, oh my gosh, okay. Be careful, don't touch anything, come on in. Don't trip on this, I'm gonna move it. All right, man, we have four coats of clear. There's gonna be plenty of material on there to do color sanding and buffing. It's just awesome. This thing is just awesome. Can't wait. Get the bumpers done, the hood done, the front fenders done, man. All I can 
say is Zach nailed it. All the hard work the guys put in over the last six months. <laughs> awesome. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. On to assembly. But unfortunately, there is still some sanding to be done. Because that's the first thing that we do is we sand what's here to get it like glass and then we buff it out. But that's going to be the last of the sanding. And then it's assembly. Interior, Matt, that rags, get ready. We're going to hit you up next week. Ha <laughs> ha Damn. Awesome. I'm getting out of here before we bring more dust in. Thanks for tuning in. Oh, the hood next week, the front fenders next week, the grill, which will be an awesome Wimbledon white in the blue and the black surround. Awesome. If you are watching this and you like what you see, please hit the like button down below. Subscribe, it helps us out tremendously. Share these videos. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and all of our other social media areas. We appreciate each and every one of you. Good night, 52 Ford. Put that thing away till tomorrow morning and come back and unwrap it like Christmas.